4.8 special program, let's just get into it. Oh, right, the summer event map. Okay, let's see what it's like. Well, that's what the version 4.8 trailer is for. Let's do it. Let's take a look. Okay, okay. This is gonna be like, this will probably tease some... currently organizing a flower exhibition. It's in Sumeru? strange smell around here. Surround yourself with fragrance for too long, and your sense of smell will become. I only has a normal voice. Allow yourself to be consumed by your emotions, and you lose the ability to think rationally. I'm Emily, a perfumer from Fontaine. She should meet up with perfume lady from uh, Leeway slash Monstat. I'm looking at only one part of her, it's not even funny. Wait, okay, new area. Papier mache, or, um, what's the thing called? Wait, who's that? Is that Kirara? Oh, that's a cute outfit, I like the hat. Nilu's outfit. Whoa, the hair. I like the. Okay, <laughs> Nilu's really pretty. This is what it feels like to ride a toy train. You're really easy to please, Navia. Hey, Somu. Choo -choo. Aerial Express moving out. I know Nilu's outfit is so pretty. Oh wow. It's like in between a summer dress and like a wedding dress to me. Actually, expect me to answer them all. That's a little troubling. Hello? Scar and Moosh is gonna make an appearance here too? Wow, so the summer event's basically just Toy Story. Summer ties scales and tails? That rhymes. Okay. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We're getting a good look at their outfit here. Nilu's outfit is so pretty. I love what they did with the hair. The flowers is a nice little extra cute touch. Oh. Oh, and the crazy thing is, is that I'm playing around with a Nilu team around a, a lot at the moment. That's damn. Kirara! I mean, I, I think it's cute on her. I can't. Actually, wait. That's basically just a Lynette alt costume on Kirara. That's. Yeah, that's basically just Lynette alt costume on Kirara. To me. I can't be wrong about that. I can't be the only one. Wow, this is making me feel super ready for some summer adventures. So, this is probably the perfect place to show off our new character. Yes! Let's oh do it. Gosh, that, that, that Let's see how she is. <laughs> Perfect segue, of course. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> All right, let's introduce everyone to one of Fontaine's most renowned perfumers, Emily. Woo! No, oh, Emily isn't just a great perfumer. She's also a pharmacology... Okay. What does that mean? And for a long time, how old is she? And increases blood circulation. So... Man, her... Like the, that outfit is... Semi-see-through. Uh, pff, my eyes, my tired eyes are just looking at Fresh that only. Oh my gosh. What? Oh my gosh. She's so cool. Right? Hey, what's her kit like? I love her shoes. Yes. They're so and, cool. and did you see when she She was wearing her shoes? Oh my gosh. Okay. Emily is a dendro polearm user. When she unleashes her elemental skill, she creates a Lumaduce case that deals yes. AoE dendro damage. Ooh, yep. I bet that skill releases a really nice fragrance. Mm. <laughs> or when it attacks the enemies. I know. It the looks Lumaduce like it was also doing stuff to creation her. That Emily is really proud of. It fires puffs of pure dew at nearby yep. opponents periodically, which deals dendro damage. Oh, yep. when burning. nearby opponents are affected by the burning reaction, the Lumaduce case will accumulate scents at intervals. Oh. Know, right? are, they're all showcasing After burning. Two cents, the Lumiduce case will be upgraded from level one to level two. Okay. At level two, the Lumiduce case can fire an extra puff of pure dew. 
Oh, the damage dealt by the puffs of pure dew will also be increased. Okay, Only that's one fair. Lumidu's case created by Emily can exist at a time. Oh, wait, and outside of constellations? Is pointless to collect scents once you've already reached level two, though. <laughs> oh no, not at all. After Emily's passive talent, lingering fragrance has been unlocked. Oh, I have to pick up the stuff. Lumidu's case will release clear dew cologne that scales with every two scents collected. <gasps> The cologne okay. will deal AoE dendro damage to nearby opponents. Okay, so if I'm understanding this correctly, only enemies under the burning status will create scents, and the damage scales with the number of scents collected We're by the enemy. the burning. Exactly. That sums it up perfectly. Oh, after unlocking one of her specific talents, Emily will deal greater damage to enemies under the burning condition. Oh, and when a Lumiduce okay. case is on the field, it increases the entire party's resistance to burning damage. Oh, okay. okay. Now I understand how Emily's talents can work in a party. So, once you use her Lumiduce case to apply Dendro to your enemies, you can use a Pyro skill with a different character to trigger the burning condition. Uh-huh, that's exactly right. <laughs> okay. And the problem is that has even more functionalities. Oh. Her elemental After skill doesn't move Emily's around stationary. Burst. The Lumiduce case will rise to. I want to know what that cooldown is. The existing Lumiduce case on the field. Oh, that's cool. This fully upgraded Lumiduce case will cause scented dew to continuously descend onto nearby enemies, dealing dendro damage. Yeah. When the level three Lumiduce case leaves the field, a new Lumiduce case will be created. Mm. This case will be at the same level as the one she collected during her burst. Okay, so if a level 2 Lumidus case is about to lead the field, then you could unleash Emily's elemental burst to reset its duration. Mm -hmm. uh, that way the level 2 Lumidus case will be able to spend even more time on the field. <laughs> Bingo! It seems like you've really figured out her kit, but we should let Travis... She's basically just an off-field dendro. For themselves. Okay, I think I understand Emily a lot better now that we've learned Pretty easy to figure out. Mm. She transforms scents into perfumes and leaves the world a cleaner place. Yes. Honestly, her skills seem to perfectly combine her talents as both a perfumer and forensic cleaner. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> right? Exactly! Okay, great. Emily <laughs> is an expert with all kinds of scents. No suspect can hope to remain in the shadows while Emily is on the case. She always manages to discover the truth. Ooh, are we gonna get the chance oh, to see her yes. forensic cleaner side? Oh, please say yes. <gasps> please. Probably the story. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Yes. During <laughs> Emily's story quest, the Pamam de Ambra chapter, travelers will learn about the mysterious Auguste flower that has appeared in Sumeru. Auguste travelers flower. Will work with Emily to uncover a series of mysteries related to this flower and expose the truth once and for all. Ooh, oh, so exciting! Go. I love mysteries. <laughs> I know. Y'all have to leave travelers to uncover the details for themselves. Oh. In the meantime, I have some other information to share. Oh. Oh. What is it? The upcoming event wishes, of course. <gasps> okay. <laughs> yes. I already know In what this is. Version 4 travelers can look forward to returning event wishes from Navia and Nilu. Be sure to check them out if you're interested. <laughs> Navia, decent. Nilu, niche. We'll Yelan is the most worth it out of the four Dana. characters. That's that's basically all you need to know. Lumidus Elegy will also Ooh. be featured on the weapon banner. All right, okay. That was a <laughs> lot of information. Emily's just now, so likely the worst choice. For my sake. <laughs> out of the four weighed <laughs> yeah, up characters. It's her outfit? Is this her outfit? It is really pretty. Like, so pretty. Oh, it has like a little butterfly thing on the back, too. Journey. That's right, no clear this patch. Well, no clear confirmed this patch. I'm actually happy about that. Shortly after entering this world. Oh, oh my, oh my gosh. Goodness. Whoa, whoa. That footprint is huge. Wait a second. Right? That's you supposed to be from a toy dinosaur like or dragon. Mm -hmm. Oh, absolutely. Oh, and if you follow the footprints into the depths of the region, then you might be able to find some clues. Origami animals live in this oh, world, origami, so that's the word I completely forgot about. Valuable information from them. Ooh, Ooh. that's helpful. Mm -hmm. huh. I noticed some of the animals look off color. Yes, they do. Very perceptive of you. We're some gonna have to color of the them. Origami animals are in big trouble. The okay. color of their paper is fading. Oh, I know, and it's so oh. sad. <laughs> So travelers will need to work together with their friends to revitalize so the forest many and help puzzles. these animals solve this crisis. Oh, 
Oh my gosh. I will do anything to help these origami creatures. I love Wait, her. how <laughs> much screen time <laughs> of Nilu in her outfit yes. do we get? But okay. <laughs> Travelers won't have to face these crises alone. Because they're showing a lot of cutscenes with Nilu's skin. Their journey in Simulanka. Hey, it's Kirara in her new outfit. And Nadia! Yes. Oh, ah. and there's Hat Guy. <laughs> <laughs> If travelers are interested in seeing how the Whoa, that place looks actually kind of big. Then be sure to check out the summer region during the new update. Wait, how? Okay, well, since Kirara is wearing her cool new outfit, mm. can we take a closer mm -hmm. look? Thank you, Mew, for noticing. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> That's just what I've been waiting for. Yes. Scaling walls, leaping across the rooftops. <laughs> Nothing new for me. She... What does she make me? She reminds me. Okay, I mean, uh, obviously it has a bit of a Lynette look to it, but it also has. I get funny looks from people if I dress like this on a delivery. No, not if you're in Fontaine. Whoa! Oh my gosh! Oh, she's like a cat thief. There we go. Oh, she's so cool. It looks like she's ready for an adventure. Her feet just look. Oh yeah! Yes. She has oh, it's adorable. Yes. Yeah, the color, style, and the accessories all complement Kirara perfectly. She's really giving me like a strong impression of a vigilante who comes Her out feet are a mix between a paw about? and a human foot. Out. That is... <laughs> well, I just noticed that. Cool. Alex... Mm. Will be able to oh, free copy yes. of Kirara. Wait. <laughs> has a bunch of I don't have a C6 Kirara yet. Enjoy. That might actually oh, be worth really? it. Let's hear it. Oh, you got it. Okay. Next up, we have Flying Hello? Hatter's Trick. Travelers can use a flying hat to attract oh. toy figures, allowing them to score points in a variety of different game modes. Oh, hey! I'm confused. It looks like a claw machine, just like the ones in the arcades. Yes. Oh. It does look like exactly. a claw machine. I am still terrible at those, though. Oh, oh, this looks like a far <laughs> easier version of a claw machine. <laughs> so thank you for your belief in me. <laughs> <laughs> Always. The third gameplay is called Metropole Trials. Okay. Travelers will need to form two teams to complete a combat trial. Defeating opponents will accumulate valor. Filling your valor energy bar will trigger a It does look like Mona's hat for sure. Which grants buffs to your team. Oh, nice. Defeating and considering this is a fairy tale, they can probably have a lot of liberty to just grab points. stuff from oh. all characters that already exist. The events will earn star sale coins. In figurine fabrication, travelers gotcha. can insert these coins into fantastical fabricators to earn They put a gotcha games. in the gotcha Hopefully game. That makes it even easier There's a gotcha in the gotcha game now. Journey. Cute origami. Abyss with character. special perks? Yeah, that's what it sounds like. Just a little guy. Just a little guy. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, were these for? Um, travelers have used the fantastical fabric. It's probably for Teapot, isn't it? They'll be able to invite Kirara to their team and claim special rewards, including Prima Gems and Serena Teapot furnishings. Yeah. Oh, and travelers can display their figurines on good frames, both Ooh. inside their Serena Teapot and around Simulanka. But don't worry if you don't receive the figurine that you want. You can also gift and trade figurines with your friends. Oh, yes! Of course you can. Oh, that's Ooh, awesome. that's awesome. Yes. That's so cool. Ah, it sounds like the summer region gives us a lot to look forward to. Mm -hmm. I wonder what else version 4.8 has in store. Oh, oh okay. You've got perfect timing. All right, this? let's take a look at the rest of the events in version 4.8. All right. Yes. Oh, first up. We're introducing I, the Imaginarium I, Theater. I but think there's just really no point in the trading mechanic the theater lobby. at the end of the but day, now, unless you really need to, like, collect everything, which I don't. <gasps> Wait, what? This new permanent gameplay mode will launch in version 4.8. There's Can another I one? Five envisaged Echoes challenges will become available in version 4.8. What? Each there's another? What? will correspond to a designated character. Travelers oh. will receive two keys of Echoes upon entering the challenge, and each challenge requires two keys to unlock. If you complete the challenge, then you'll be able to obtain the corresponding character's Echo Cosmetic Reward. Oh. E cosmetic? Yes. Cosmetic and Reward? once you've equipped an Echo onto its designated character, they'll have a mm. unique trailing effect while they're sprinting. Oh my gosh. Diluc's Echo looks like flaming yes. feathers. That's so cool. Oh. Yes, and Chi Chi's Echo seems to oh, give her Oh, I like the Chi Chi one. Honestly, I feel Ooh. like that's something that Hu Tao would be super interested in. Oh, no, Chi Chi run, yeah. right? <laughs> oh, uh, hold on. Some of these are cute. Question. This is if a nice little touch. Start off with two keys. Then that means Yeah, run trails it looks like. One challenge, right? Mm. Are there any other ways to obtain those keys? 
Oh, yeah, of course. Travelers can receive one key from each season of the Imaginarium Theater where they complete and finalize a combat performance in Act 6 or higher. Oh. oh, okay, so you can't unlock those Echo Rewards in one go. Aw, oh, Drag. Yes, exactly. <laughs> I know. So take your time, everyone. There's Only no run trails on some characters, not, not all of them. <laughs> Oh, by the way, you can only complete the challenge using I don't its mind designated that. character. You're also going to have to pay attention to the character level and friendship level requirements. The oh. participating character must be level 90, and their friendship what? level must be 8 or higher. It's time to test what? how well you truly know your characters. Sweet. What? <laughs> level 90? <90. laughs> Yo, the they're forcing us to max them out just now. Test how well you can use a character but also how well you Shoot. understand their skills. Must Each be level 90. Obstacles, and you'll only be able to pass if you fully master the character's skill Damn. Mechanics. Huh. That's awesome. Oh, Where's man, the I'm challenge so in that? <laughs> so ready. <laughs> you can also look forward to a ton of events. What an interesting way of gating things. Travelers will get to meet an enthusiastic scholar in Romaritime Harbor, which allows How many people have characters at level 90? Bang Finchball. Thanks, Basima. Bossyma and Finchball seems to remind me of something. Might have to start oh, leveling up some characters to level 90 from Bossima 80 now. Version 3.8. That's all the event-related news that I have right now. So next, let's talk about system optimizations. Wow, so yes. a day. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> okay, first off, the encounter point system has been improved. In oh? version 4.8, excess encounter points earned from daily activities can now be stored. What do you mean? Travelers won't Excellent. have to worry about them going to waste anymore. Ooh. Okay, so how do we use the points that we've stored? Well, travelers can convert their long-term encounter points into daily encounter points by spending original resin. Long-term encounter points will be what? reset during every version update that ends with point zero. In other words, the first update for a new region. That means the first what? reset will occur in version 5.0. Sweet! Oh, nice! Mm -hmm. You can spend them immediately. So cool. Yeah, or you can save them for a rainy day. That gives travelers a long term lot encounter. Ooh. Oh, also, okay, I think I get it. Down for all world bosses will be reduced to 10 Indeed. Seconds. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. oh. I know. What that was your name before that? To farm materials. That works perfectly with the changes to the encounter oh, point definitely. system. You'll be able to convert oh, encounter door. points even faster now that cooldown periods are shorter. That's super convenient. That is. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Well, We've also got new optimizations for travelers who love to follow the game's stories. We will now have a one-click, high UI feature, which will hopefully provide a more immersive experience. In addition, we'll be getting okay. a new feature that allows travelers to review dialogue, text, and audio in okay. their current conversation. So don't That's worry about fine. missing out on any details. Oh, thank goodness. Ooh, <laughs> that is perfect for travelers who like to take screenshots and travelers who like to analyze the dialogue. Hmm. Oh, you can look forward to a bunch of other optimizations in version 4.8. Mm -hmm. mm. Some domains in Mondstadt and Liyue will be adjusted. Travelers yep. can choose to lower their world level once they've reached world level 3. The difficulty of the license to glide quest will also be lowered. What? Just to name a few. Oh, Who was having difficulty that with be this? So helpful for new players. It'll be easier to pass Amber's gliding test. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know. But be sure to keep an eye out for future announcements. To when when was that? This ever out of our challenge? Well, uh, we hit everything, right? Actually, we still <gasps> have some more information to share. But first, <gasps> let's display the final redemption code. No, just Dun -dun. show me Notlin. But I have to say, Nilu's outfit is so pretty. It's so, so pretty. Kirara's image disturbs me because of her foot paw. Hello. Okay, let's, 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 let's go. Here we go. Welcome back, travelers. Hello. Hello. Welcome back. <laughs> Let's get straight to the information that I promised. Nolan? Nolan? Okay. Not. Oh, what's that? Nolan. So cozy. I want to be there. Wait, what's this? Wait, there's legitimately tournaments for this. That's all the information that we have to share. No, that's lies. Then that means. Yeah, it's almost that time again. It's time for the special program to end? Yeah. One last thing. Aww. I know it. I know. Well, is there anything y'all want to say before we go? Nolan. Yes. 
Uh, I'm very excited for the costumes for Nilo and Kirara. They are so adorable, and I can't wait to see like their yeah. new uh, roles that they get to play in this new event. I'm just, I'm so excited for this. I can't wait. Yeah, I guess we'll see y'all in game. Bye. Okay, bye. bye. There's gonna be less than a minute yeah, of it. Bye. Damn, that's gonna be short. I'll uh, like a minute. It's a little one. Wait. That's a mount? We don't- it's not just animals? It's not just animals! It's an actual vehicle. That's an enemy. <laughs> She's gonna be a four star. She's gonna be a five star. He's gonna be a five star. Hello? She rides a shark? Okay, that's cool. And he just flies? Wait, was that an archer? Is he an archer? Was that a bow? Ooh, I, oh, the music. The music, though. Wait, hold up. Hold up. She's cute. Oh, uh, wait, 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 wait. Nope, that's a, that's a, uh, not a pole arm. Um, a claymore. That's a claymore. That's a claymore. That is a claymore. He's a claymore user. He, claymore dendro character. Confirmed. You heard it here. Also, let's take a quick look here. What? I, I don't think there's any indication of what weapon she is. I can't believe they br they're bringing Koyoverse is bringing Gura like twice. First in uh, Zone Zone Zero and now here. Okay, and then what's the little Munchkin look looking? Oh, she has a tail. Oh, oh, she's she's a furry. Oh gosh. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. I guess Diona has a little sister in Notlin now. Um, that oh she's Geo. Well, of course she was. Confirm Geo right there. Okay, so Geo little munchkin. I mean, she is cute. Wait, also, oh gosh, I'm doing this incorrectly. Okay, hold up. Are those wings on her shoes? I wonder if that's any indication that she might be able to also fly. Also, that mount doesn't is the least animal looking one, but it's probably related to those those little creatures that we saw in the last trailer with the the hedgehog looking things. It can climb walls like Kira. Kira just got power crept with this feature. <laughs> she just drives it like a regular old vehicle. That's insane. She looks hilariously adorable doing it too. Uh, you can like mine stuff, so you're gonna definitely need this mount to break up some puzzles in Notlin. I can guarantee you. Oh, the little mount has ears too and wings. Maybe this isn't the hedgehog thing. But she's 100% Geo. Uh, the enemies look like they're related to the hedgehogs though, just based on their hat and or mask or whatever those are. Um, they're looking, they're looking kind of bulky too. Also, that weapon. Looking a little bit like, um... Corrin from Zilla Zone Zero, a similar weapon. And it hit the rock and launched it at us, so they have like a little bit of a ranged attack, it looks like. That's super cute. Her ears are cute too. I- I- since she's a force, I- I'm pretty sure she's gonna be a four star. I'm wondering if she's gonna be like, the free Notlin character that we get that's four star she on the other hand she's giving me five star vibes i don't know why i think she's just she her level of cuteness is high enough that i feel like she could be a five star she's obviously going to be hydro i'd be i'd be shocked if she wasn't hydro but we don't see her um any indication of her um thing on her i mean she doesn't have much on her to begin with. Hey, that thing floats! It's it's not just the drill, it floats. Okay, so she's kind of gliding as well. Now him. 
honestly, from this image alone, you can he's kind of confusing. You can't really tell if he's going to be Geo or Dendro, but we'll see later that he's obviously going to be Dendro. What's with that move, though? And I can't believe we can go shark surfing in Genshin. Are you kidding me? We can go shark surfing? I'm I could have some very casual fun in Nolan. Meanwhile, this guy is just flying like nothing. They did not really give him a lot of screen time. Holy smokes. Hello? That shark is so cool. That thing's going to be a plushie. I, I'm, I'm saying it right now. This this shark's going to be a plushie. If it's not, they're missing out on so much money. Also, what's that on her wrist? Is that another creature thing? Wait, do the other characters have a thing on their wrist? Maybe it's something to do with summoning these things. I mean, they each have a pretty bulky like thing on their wrists. I wonder if that's... Yeah, she has that one on her right side. He has one on his left side and not- Oh, I guess he has it on both hands, so maybe that- Maybe I'm overlooking that. She just has mittens. Oh, that's crazy. I wonder how this f flying thing works. Unless this is going to be part of his, like, skill kit. If a Claymore character can glide and fly like that, his plunging attack is probably going to scale pretty well. That's, that's what I'm betting on. The more I see her, the more I'm starting to like her. She's adorable. Wait. Wait. What's that on her back? Is that like a little backpack? She has like a little stuffy creatures all over her. She has like one thing on her wrist and that thing on her back. Crazy. And based on the region and what we get from these character designs so far, at least from uh, from with it from the waifus, they're going to be showing more skin. They're more tribe. I guess they have to be more tribal. Oh, I didn't notice that little creature on her. That outline there. That's cute. It's super cute. I'm also wondering if that that bandana, the thing above her bandana, is actually part of her, or if that's just part of the outfit. Oh, this is cute. I think this region is going to be pretty cute. I mean, the because they're trying to be a little bit more tribal with this region from the looks of these characters. I think the waifus are going to end up showing more skin, or at least the the girl characters. Not so much the guys. Not so much the guys at all. He's like fully equipped. And that's more look at his signature weapon. He's definitely going to be a five star. I, I think they showed one four star and two five stars already. I could be completely wrong. They could be all four stars. We, it, to pull people in, you know what would be crazy? If all of these are four stars and we get a copy of them all for free. Because that would pull people in. That would pull me in 100%. I am genuinely excited for Notlin. But that's enough of the Notlin teaser. Let's just take take a look at the... Let's just talk a little bit about all of 4.8. Let's, um... Let's take... Let's, wait, 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 boop, 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 boop. Boom. Oh. Boom. Nilu, Absolutely gorgeous. The, that, that outfit, so good. I can see a lot of people spending money for this, like 100%. I, I wouldn't blame you. It is so pretty. I don't spend money on cosme on cosmetics like this, but I do not blame people for wanting this because she is adorable. Like, as I said, it's like in between like a summer dress, a, a dress to go out for some dancing, which very fitting for Nilu, or like a little bit of a wedding dress at the same time. It's all it's all there. I can see it all combined in there. It has that little flower theme going on with it. It's really cute. Really cute. Kirawa's is pretty good for a four star. Makes her like a cat thief, very fitting, considering she is a Nekomata and, and all that stuff. But it's it's fine. It's fine. Um, as for the new area, I mean, if you want to spend the time in it, you're probably going to enjoy it for the most part. I'm probably not going to 100% 
this new area like I usually do or have been with uh, Genshin. I'm, I'm, I've been taking like a bit of a, a break from playing Genshin like every single day. I don't log in every day anymore. I'm probably going to continue not logging in every day in 4.8 and I'm going to just wait for Notlin to release and go dive in hard. I'm going to dive in hard for Notlin. I'm excited for Notlin. I'm going to take, I'm going to be a little quiet in 4.8 and that's totally fine. I'm probably going to get Kirara's skin. Her skin's going to be for free. I don't have her at C6, so that's my motivation for 4.8. But outside of that, I, I think 4.8 is, is like fine if you're still very into the game, but I'm otherwise just, it is a filler patch. There's no denying that. Now, as for Emily, I mean, she's like an off-field five-star Dendro character that um, wants to be part of a burning team. Burning is generally not that good. However, the only viable burning team I know of is a for a Melt Ganyu with a Nahida. She could basi she basically could finally replace Nahida on that team, potentially. I don't know. It, how well that would work and then you have gone you doing the burns and then now you free up Nahida for your second team for like abyss and stuff like that but i i genuinely don't know if how replaceable she she can how much how well she will replace Nahida on teams for like that but and generally i don't think burning teams are that good so i don't think she's actually going to be that good of a character and i don't know her her she's pretty i won't deny that but she, she she's feeling pretty generic compared to all the other characters that we have so um oh, she's a pass for me but if you like her you like her it's no no biggie yeah so that's basically it